Welcome to another video from Creative Learning Resources on how to get an A star in Combined Sciences series. This video is for IGCSE Combined Sciences students. Today's topic is B9 Coordination and Response for Combined Sciences. The subtopic of B9 is B9.1 which is Hormones in Humans under consideration today. Let's move the topic heading to the top. And the subheading is B9.1, Hormones in Humans. First of all, we should learn the definition of the word hormone. Hormone can be defined as a chemical substance produced by a gland carried by the blood, which alters the activity of one or more specific target organs. There are four important keywords in this definition, which you have to learn. First of all, hormones are the chemical substances which are produced by a gland. Secondly, they are carried by the blood. So blood is the mode of transportation of all these hormones from the glands to the target organs. And these hormones alter the activity of one or more target organs. Let's move this definition on one side of the screen. One of the important hormone which you need to know that is adrenaline. The adrenaline hormone is attached to the upper end of the kidney. Recall the word renal means kidney. So the adrenal glands are attached to the upper end of the kidney and they produce a hormone called as adrenaline. The hormone adrenaline is secreted under some special situations which are called as emergency situation. These situations include fight or flight. Fight means once someone is in a situation which is an emergency situation and the person has to fight back for survival. And the flight means once the organism, the human or any other animal feels that the best option is to run away, to fly away in order to protect him or herself. While the first choice is to combat, to fight back, but both of these situations, the person needs to get ready. The adrenaline hormone prepares someone to get ready under these emergency situations. Now we are going to focus on the effects of adrenaline hormone on the human body. There are three major roles played by the adrenaline hormone. The first role is increased breathing and the pulse rate. This is important because increased breathing rate is going to supply more oxygen to the muscles and to the other cells of the body and the person is going to prepare himself for the situations which are emergency situations like someone is under any mental state like a fear, extreme happiness, extreme sadness, extreme sorrow, danger as well as extreme excitement. On the other hand, increase in the pulse rate is going to increase the rate of flow of blood through the blood vessels throughout the body. This is going to supply more glucose and more nutrients for the body to well prepare itself for those special circumstances. Second effect of adrenaline is widened pupil. This is also extremely beneficial because increase in the pupil size allows more light to enter into the eye and the person who is under some special emergency conditions or situations will be more aware about his or her surroundings and he or she will be having an enhanced vision. Here you can see the widening of pupil due to increase in the concentration of the hormone adrenaline. On the other hand, the third role played by adrenaline in the chemical control of metabolic activity. Recall that metabolic activity means the chemical reactions taking place in the body. As a result of these chemical reactions taking place in the body, the stored glycogen in the liver is converted into glucose and this results in an increase in the blood glucose concentration. So a quick recap of the effects of adrenaline on the body. Once there's more adrenaline secreted and released into the blood, this results in an increase in the breathing and the pulse rate. Secondly, it causes the pupil to get widened. And thirdly, it increases the metabolic activity, which increases in the blood glucose concentration. Increased breathing rate will help to supply more oxygen 
to the muscles to the tissues increased pulse rate supplies more blood to all the muscles throughout the body supplying more glucose and more oxygen widening of pupil enhance the vision of the person in order to prepare him or her for emergency situations similarly more glucose in the blood will supply more energy and the person will be having an energy boost for the preparation of that emergency situation that's all for b9.1 and in order to fully understand b9.2 watch the next video which is on tropic responses these are the two topics under b9 coordination and response please don't forget to subscribe the channel press the bell icon for the latest updates and drop a comment or any questions in the comment section below thanks a ton for watching hope to see you again soon